This is not a drill, people. This is not a drill. Now this, this one's a drill. Well, wrong game with rocking and stoning. It should have a lot less bugs. Anyways, let's get properly distracted with some very exciting news as Pathea has dropped the long-awaited announcement. The full My Time is Sandrock game will be chugging its way to gaming platforms on September 26, 2023. Uh, seems like it was just yesterday when I backed this game on Kickstarter after falling in love with My Time at Portia. And now, here we are one quarter away from the full release. Here is Pathia's announcement. Get ready to immerse yourself in the epic adventure of Sandrak's captivating story. Available on Steam, Wii Game, Epic Game Store, Bilibili, Nintendo Switch, Sony PlayStation 5, and Xbox One, Series S, and Series X. In this full release, all single-player quests will reach their thrilling conclusions, unraveling the secrets of Sandrock. We've also gone the extra mile to ensure that romanceable NPCs have their quests implemented, allowing you to embark on heartwarming storylines and experience beautiful love stories. Additionally, the new Sandbox multiplayer will be available right from the same day where you can team up with friends and explore the world of Sandrock together. We've planned dedicated time to optimizing the game, enhancing performance, and ensuring a smooth gameplay experience in the full launch version. Stay tuned for future announcements where we'll delve into optimization goals and highlight the actual improvements we've made. We are even more excited and would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to all of you for your unwavering patience and support. To express our appreciation, we have prepared a special in-game item gift exclusively for our early access players. Stay tuned for further details on how to claim it as we will be announcing the specifics very soon. Thank you builders for being an integral part of our amazing community. Together, together, let's go. <laughs> I hate Zanny. Together. <laughs> together, <laughs> I hate it here. Together, let's continue making Sandrock an extraordinary place to embark on thrilling adventures. Now, I was planning on putting together a video discussing the current and upcoming content because I heard that Sandrock was planned to release in summer, but I don't think that what I have to say needs a separate video, so I'm just gonna say it here. With regards to the romanceable NPCs, I am looking forward to their story arcs because one of the criticisms from Sandrock's predecessor, My Time at Portia, was that multiple romanceable candidates didn't get the same well-rounded storyline that the others did. Now, in My Time at Sandrock, Thang's storyline is incredible and it makes me look forward to learning more and I hope that the rest of the romanceable sand rockers do get the same love as Fang did. For now, for my playthrough, I only have Fang. <laughs> That's the only- I only have time for one uh, NPC storyline at the moment. Hopefully they also fix the inconsistent textures in game because a lot of clothing, art, and items are still low resolution. Of course, we're still talking about early access. And I'm not sure if it's still possible this far in the game, but improvement of characters' expressions, especially the player's character, would be great because it's a little awkward to see my character just be deadpan during intense cutscenes. And finally, the subject of pacing leading to the story's completion. While we don't have the actual play hours for the upcoming coming and final Sandrock arc, going off the length of the first and second arcs, I feel like there's still a lot missing in the game. Yes, we've unlocked a lot of locations and dungeons in the game, but the town itself is still pretty empty. There are buildings yet to be accessible, and the tourism is still pretty sparse. And Sandrock's journey to becoming lush, both in nature and economy, still needs a lot of work, and that's okay. I just think that implementing all of this in the last arc might feel a little bit crammed and rushed. But like I said, we don't know how long the final arc will be, and Pathia is surely working and has been working on putting a wonderful bow to this game, and I can't wait. And to close off, we have some additional notes to keep in mind for the game. Initially, the multiplayer online cooperative mode will be available on the PC platform on September 26. We are actively working on bringing the mode to console platforms, and it is expected to be available approximately three months after the PC release due to porting and optimization. And lastly, regarding the Sony PlayStation 4 platform, we are currently addressing technical challenges with platform support. We cannot confirm if it will release simultaneously with other platforms on September 26. An update will be provided by the end of June, sharing more details about the release timing for this platform. 
And that's it for this breaking news for my time at Sandrock. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I appreciate you as always. Please do take care of yourself. I am sending you warm prickly hugs and I hope I catch you on the next one. Bye! Yes.